Hi, my loves, and welcome to my channel. My name is Erica, and this is Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. I'm a psychic, medium, oracle, and prophetess, you guys. So welcome, welcome, my loves. You guys have already seen the title of this video, so you know why you're here. Um, I'm going to just share with you kind of what I feel before we get started. Um, I will be starting today with my little, one of my little message oracle decks, you guys. Um, all of a sudden, right now, when I sat down to do the reading, you guys, I'm getting... <laughs> I'm getting the extreme amount, the urge to burp and, you know, burping can be a form of purge. Okay. When certain energies are released, um, especially from like our chakras. So I'm specifically feeling the heart and the solar plexus chakra for the divine masculine right now. Solar plexus is going to be that yellow, beautiful sun, um, glow energy located, um, you know, right cut like below the heart like right where the rib cage kind of like meets right here you know like in the center right here of your your tummy I don't know if I can show you guys like right here okay right here and then you have your heart chakra and then obviously your throat and blah 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 right so the divine masculine is um whoa and then look at you just hear my dog my dog just like coughed too so maybe it's throat as well so the divine masculine is <clears throat> I'm hearing clearing their throat <clears throat> it's like someone clearing their throat. They're getting ready to say something. The divine masculine is clearing their their energy, their throat chakra. They're 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 standing more in their power. They're um, tapping into their solar plexus energy because they are feeling more empowered. They have been letting go of people, places, and things that have been weighing them down. They've been completing karmic lessons and co closing out massive cycles. Um, the divine masculine that I'm seeing right now is alone they're in deep thought they're in not contemplation if there is contemplation the only contemplation that i'm feeling is what they're going to say to you and how they're going to bring forth this how am i going to fix this that's what i'm getting how am i going to fix this how am i going to you know repair the energy between me and my twin flame my soulmate how am i going to do this okay um, so they're in a, they're like in a state of reflecting you guys, which is good. They're thinking. Okay. They typically, you know, in the past, and this is again, something else that they've learned about themselves is not to be so impulsive with things. Okay. They've put a lot of thought into you, into this, into what they want. Okay. Um, Okay. Another energy that I'm receiving big time is the fact that they see you, they see you doing like really well. You're, you're emanating, um, you know, your power, you're, you're glowing, you're, you're emanating your strength, your power. You're like really in this like beautiful empress energy, man or woman, it doesn't matter. Um, and you guys have heard me say it before on my channel. I call it twin flame FOMO. It's fear of missing out. It's like, I I want to be there living my best life with my twin flame. I want to do all the same things. I want to have fun. I want to, you know, I don't want to be unhappy anymore. Okay. So, hold on, you guys. So, they're reflecting. I literally see, you know, that statue of, like, the 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 man who's, like, you know, he's thinking he's got his hand. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing the, the masculine in deep thought. Um, they're doing a lot of reflective thinking on their life and, and they're thinking of how they want to come in and, and how they can make amends, how they can, you know, smooth things out here with you. Someone has revenge in their eyes. Okay. This is definitely karmic energy. This is low vibrational energy. This is definitely not energy from your masculine or you, um, Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm hearing hurt people, hurt people. So the karmics, okay, for those of you where there is a karmic involved here, where the divine masculine has, that's part of what they've reflected on. That's part of the decisions that they've made. That's part of like the changes that are happening around them and in their life. Um, Some of these karmics, for some of you guys, they could be a little bench, like they could feel like 
you know, like this isn't fair and like, I want to get even, you know, I, the divine masculine, it's as if they feel like they were hurt, they were duped and they don't think it's fair. This is the energy that I'm picking up on. They don't, they don't want to see the divine masculine happy, especially with you. Like they don't think it's fair that they get left behind and that the divine masculine gets to move forward and be with their beloved counterpart or, you know, that they just get to move forward and be happy in life. Okay. That's what this is. And so that that's what, that's what that revenge is or whatever. Pisces energy. We just got out of Pisces season. This is like the moon and the high priestess. This is about things that have been hidden, what you don't see coming. It's also about intuition and deep emotion. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Karmic didn't see it coming. Okay, could also be like that. Oh, okay. So it's like they saw it coming, they felt it coming, but it still came as a, a you know, like I, I didn't see this coming. I didn't see, I didn't see this happening. I didn't see you doing this. I didn't see us, you know, breaking up like this. I didn't see this coming to an end like this. I didn't, it's like that. It's like that. I didn't see, I didn't see, I didn't see this. I didn't see it. It's that the moon also Pisces energy. Then with the moon energy here, um, with the tarot, it's very, you know, it's all about illusions with Neptune and confusion and all the things right divine disruption when and where did i go wrong look at that i told you that they're reflecting they're thinking the masculines are like what where did i go wrong what did i do how did i you know how did i get myself here again divine disruption okay so now it feels like obviously the divine has intervened um there's like these tower moments happening or have been happening but the Divine Masculine is seeing, it's like they're seeing what's going on now on a spiritual level, on a universal level with like all the things, okay? So, enlightenment. But it's like they're looking and they're going, okay, this is happening because I'm not meant to be in this situation anymore. This is happening because I'm meant to move. This is happening because, you know, blah, 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 blah. I sit and daydream about us and our future. Oh, see? You know, I was just talking about awake, look at spontaneous awakening, bottom of the deck. Mm. Okay. All right, <clears throat> spontaneous awakening. So the divine masculine has, it's literally like they could have even like had like just like a, you know, they went to bed one night and then the next day they woke up and they're just like, why can't, you know, not that you haven't been on their mind constantly for however long, but like there was this, you know, there's just this energy shift that's changed. And that's what this is, spontaneous awakening, waking up. Now all of a sudden they've, they're, they're saying, they're speaking what's on their mind. They're speaking truth everybody's being affected by the divine masculine's spontaneous awakening okay and by everybody i mean everyone around them <clears throat> see twin flame journey has begun in the 3d because they know now this is this is a twin flame the journey has begun this is where i want to be i knew you were i knew that you were the one from the moment that we met see i told you that's what i got just got to say they felt this all along but there's this like whole like shift of energy where all of a sudden they Feel like they're gonna lose you they feel like they're gonna lose you so here they come secrets are coming out confessions these are my confessions scorpio energy transformation transformation is taking place a rebirth after an ending death of the ego Bottom of the deck here. I've never met someone so strong. You inspired me and terrified me all at once. Boom. 
harvest. This is all about the Empress energy, my loves. Harvest abundance. This is positive energy flowing into your life. Fruitful energy, fertile energy, abundant energy. It literally says birthing new cycles. This could also indicate pregnancy. Aries energy. We're in Aries season. Could be dealing with an Aries, but this is the emperor. It's the emperor and the empress. Basically, energetically, right? Aries energy, someone who's fueled with fire and passion right now. They are fueled with fire and passion when it comes to you, divine feminine. I replay our times together over and over in my mind. Okay, let's do some tarot. Let's do some tarot. All right. The divine is protecting this union. And these high level unions, you know, they can't. You can't mess with these unions. Let's just say that, okay? The twin flame, the, you know, these are these are destiny. There's not the the universe is much bigger than than anyone else, anything else in this in the universe, right? I said the tarot, but let's just see. Spirit, give me the tea, please, around the DM today. Blind, blinded by the light. This is blinded to the truth, searching for answers, blinded to the truth, watching you online and wanting to know, wanting to know, do you, they, okay, here's the thing is your, your DMs know that they have kept you blinded to their truth. They know that you guys have not been in contact, that they ghosted or maybe they forced you to walk away, whatever it was, but, um, the blindfold is off. The blindfold is off. Confessions are coming in. Okay. This could also be a karmic energy that is going to be searching for some answers. Okay. Remember earlier I said they feel like they got duped. So they could, they were ghosted. They, you know, maybe they felt blindsided. I don't know. See, blindsided, ghosted, and then drama. See, but it was because of the drama. Okay. It was just, it's karmic, karma, karma. Anyways, what I'm saying here is this person it could be <clears throat> karmic energy could be watching you. They could be, um, you know, kind of like obsessing over you, watching your social media, stalking you, that kind of stuff. Um, and they could, they could try to, it says creating problems, drama queen. They could try to start some kind of drama with you, divine feminine. Um, but again, going back, it's like, okay, well you can try, but you know, we don't, we don't entertain that kind of energy. Right. Um, all right. So give me the tea, please. Give me more around the divine masculine at this time. Trapped, stuck, locked down, mental prison, and captive. And then bottom of the deck, when I stop shuffling the muse, everything is inspired by you right now. Literally, it says song lyrics, listening to music, love songs, any kind of love songs, love music that, you know, um, reminds you guys of each other, reminds them of you, they're listening to that. So much is inspired by you right now, Divine Feminine. They're going round and round in their mind. How do I do this? How do I bring this all back together, right? How do I, when and where did I go wrong, right? I replay all of our times in my mind. I knew that you were the one from the moment that we met. But I was still in a dark place. You know, I was still going through this journey, dark night of the soul. I don't know. You know, whatever it is that you guys call it. <laughs> All right. Let's see here, you guys. What do I want to use? Um, instead of me just, like, keep moving the cards around and channeling. Um, Gilded Tarot. We're going to do some Gilded Tarot. And I want to get, I want to get, sorry guys, I'm, now I'm like rocking the thing. I want to get some, um, 
some sex, sexual bleh, sexual magic tarot as well. Because I love how, you know, you guys know if you watch me regularly, it like fully just captures like the, the chemistry between you guys, the sexual energy and the vulnerability, the rawness, right? All the things. Okay. All right. For the collective, for the collective, darling. <laughs> It's the lovers, the empress, holy cow, you guys, the four of cups, the eight of cups, eight of chalices, and then you have eight, eight, oh, and the wands, wow. You guys have eight, eight coming out in your reading. That for me is, it's mirrored. I mean, look at the number eight. It's the infinity symbol, okay? And it also is a mirrored reflection of its self or whatever so when you have the next i mean it's mirroring each other you guys are mirroring each other eight eight there's passionate communication coming in for some of you guys it's coming from a distance long distance eight of wands that could indicate air travel like an airplane eight of chalices this is someone who walked away coming back right and they're like i learned lessons i've let things go um four of four of chalices is you know, I know that this is something real. I know that this is true love. I'm sorry that I turned my back on this before. I didn't believe in this before. Whatever the case is, you guys. And they're going now. I've made my choice. I know, I know what I want. And it's you. I'm uninterested in anything else besides you. And then boom, there's the new abundance cycle. Sorry, guys. All right. Okay. So <clears throat> you have your shield here, Divine Feminine. You have your shield, but you're super open. Look at, see, she's so open. She's receptive. Empress is open to receiving. She's in receiving mode. She's in her femininity, right? She's been, she's been manifesting with the moon cycles, with the moon phases, okay? She's also been manifesting her divine counterpart back into her reality, back into her world, into her life, her husband, whatever that meant for her, right? She knows that this is a twin flame. She knows that this is her counterpart, her soulmate. But she also knows that her person has been entertaining a karmic over here. Even though she also knows that they're not interested in the karmic, she, she doesn't want any kind of drama. Look at this. She doesn't want any kind of drama flowing into her beautiful reality. And the Divine Masculine has known this. So that's what they did. They're no longer looking at this. It's, it's, the lovers is a choice. They've made their choice. See, it's clear as day with the choices, right? So <clears throat> the Empress is this new, this new fertile cycle. And look, you guys, as I was talking about all this, literally the sun came out. This is a yes card. So spirit is saying, it's all major arcanas. Look at this. Spirit is saying, yes, 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 yes. Yes. Your happily ever after is on its way. Your happily ever after is on its way. I told you. I told you. Your happily ever after is on its way. The Knight of Wands. This is so much passion coming towards you again. Harvest time. Someone who is, um, you know, they're, they can't wait to talk to you, but all of this, this communication that's coming in, this message, it's backed by fire, passion, sensuality, sexuality. They lust for you. They, they're in love with you, but they're, they're in lust with you and in, oh my gosh, three aces right after the Knight of wands, right as I'm talking about how they are in lust with you and in love with you. They are just, oh my gosh, you guys, Ace of Pentacles, they are ready to lock it down. They want to marry you. Invest long term. Ace of Chalices, they're madly in love. They know that they have found 
the jackpot in love of counterparts. They know that they won't ever meet anyone like you. This is someone who is very much in love. And then you have the ace of wands. Triple aces. Luck. Passion. Fire. She's pregnant. They want to impregnate you. Wow. And clarifying all of it. It's the sun. Let's see here. There we go. This is what, okay. So, you know, I was like talking about, I forget what, how I was saying it when like all these cards just flew out though, you guys. And I was talking about like the incoming energy, like what, what's being manifested, what's coming in, what, what is the divine, you know, anyways, the emperor came out with the wheel of fortune and uh, look at this, literally look at your counterpart. Yeah. You see, you're definitely being watched divine feminine. This is you. You're looking good. You, you self love, you love yourself. You're in total, you know, alignment and oneness. You have good fortune coming your way with the wheel of fortune, these new cycles, right? Like everything is happening for you. And there are people that are watching you that are envious, not happy for you. Let's just say they don't have your best interest at heart. But the wheel of fortune, the wheel of destiny is what is in between you guys at this time. The wheel turns. Here comes the bride, all just the mind. Dun, dun. <laughs> The Empress is the mother. She's the wife. She's all the things, right? And the Emperor is just exhausted. Look at him. He's like, you know what? You're it for me, baby. I know it. In every way, shape, and form, I want to marry you. I've made my choice, right? It's not really so much a choice as it is alignment as well, too, though, right? Because they've ascended beyond these energies. They've they've ascended beyond the karmic energies, right? 2211 on the timestamp. It's a backwards right it's play on 22 you guys can follow me on instagram at gypsy cow world tarot but i just literally got so much confirmation for the twin flame collective in a post from another reader on instagram um but she does have a youtube channel scorpio moon i think it's scorpio moon scorpio moon tarot i believe but anyways um it was wild you guys it was wild but she talked all i mean just my like well when i went on there there was 22 likes so it was two two and then I talked all about 1111 and all the things. And now here we go. Oh my gosh. Right, I'm talking about 22 and 1111. You guys, there's so much magic in the air. You sparked someone's soul. There's illumination coming in. Basically, you're about to be in a really loving, divine beautiful union three again what is it that I ask this could be travel a vacation this could be someone who's you're you know you're separated by the ocean overseas it could be some kind of an actor a performer someone who puts on a show right um, but this is definitely about someone who's been false, fake, pretentious, right? But they're coming in quickly. I'm telling you, your ships arrive. This is everything you've ever wanted. Not just in love, but in work, finances, everything divine feminine. It's like everything is coming in for you all at once. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I know I keep clearing my... Oops my throat and stuff, but sorry guys, there's stuff like from this that's being cleared. Also not to mention from when I was sick last month, I still have some lingering things. Okay. Give me the romance energy around the masculines separation. See, look at this. They are separating from people, places, and things because they don't want to be in separation from you. You guys are going to be together soon. No longer in separation because you deserve love. See? And your person has realized that they deserve love. That they, they deserve to be happy. See? Retreat. 
She's in a wedding dress. He's in a, a tux. It's time to disconnect from the world, honeys. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. This is definitely someone that, right, is feeling regretful. Someone that is feeling that I messed up. I need to, I need to show my person that I'm willing to, you know, I want to give this a chance that it never, that it never got. That's what this is. I want to spend time with you alone. I want to disconnect from everyone. Your person could also be disconnecting from friends, family, you know, they could just be like really going into this energy right now where I do see them just kind of like wanting to relax, have a quiet space, clear their mind, think, maybe turn on Netflix and chill. Like it's like that. Okay, spirit. Give me one more, please. Over the top. Incoming energy. Oh, no. Ew. More messages. Okay. If this is your message, you guys, be sure to claim it as yours. Like, subscribe. When you like a video, any reader, you guys, it literally, and subscribe, especially subscribing because it's, you know, your energy is permanently tied into the, ch the channel unless you unsubscribe. But it helps us pull more clearly on your situations, more precisely, even though it's collective. They feel guilt. <laughs> I'm with a karmic, but I'm in love with you. This is, comes out nonstop, you guys. It's coming out nonstop with these collective readings. Judgment, resurrection, coming alive and waking up. Someone has woken up. <laughs> Had enlightenment. Making a judgment call. Making a judgment call. I've made the judgment call. I've made the choice, right? Passionate new beginning. Loving new beginning. Honest new beginning. Someone comes in full of fire and passion. They're no longer in their ego, okay? Um... Anyways, that's your person. So this is what I have for you, my loves. I just wanted to do like, a, I guess it wasn't that short, but a temperature check. So I send you love and light. Um, I have personal readings that are uploading. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Instagram, Gypsy Capital Tarot. If you've donated to the channel, thank you, my loves. It means the world to me. Um, what else? If you want to book a personal reading session, I am still taking personals at this time. You can find the info below in the description box. Um, the pricing is all there. Just send me an email and we'll get you set up. Other than that, you guys, love and light. I'll see you soon. Namaste. Bye.